Hey everyone, welcome back to Tap and Sack. Today we're going to be playing Spell Slingers. There's a new event that just came out today. It's free so anyone can take part. And it's going to be exciting because the more creatures you cast, the more free spells you're going to get. So let's just get right down to it. Alright, so we're here on the main screen of Spell Slingers and to get to the events page, you just click on the bottom left mode button. And here we have um, your leaks as well as the events. So the events will be on the left. So there's a new event called Spell Slingers, uh, free entry fee. And what this is, is for the rules, the first time each turn, each player plays a creature, they add a random spell of equal cost to their hand. So you're getting more cards to play, which is good, uh, but it only happens one time each turn. So in terms of rewards, you get up to 4 wins. If you can get up to 4 wins, you will get 100 gold first, then 150, 250, and then 1250. So quite a lot on 4 wins. Alright, so let's enter. Okay, we have to select a deck and this deck will be fixed for the event so we can't change it. We're in, so let's try to play a, a game. Alright, so Ashiok is our opponent's spell slinger with a starting hand of uh, Stag, Goblin and Ilhark. We gotta replace the Ilhark because it's too expensive. And I'm not sure about Stag at 4, it's not too high. Uh, but could we get something better? Alright, let's try it. Okay, we get back um, cheap fine. Lingering Spirit for 1 mana, but there, we also done. get the 5 mana ejected. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to activate my Vivian's ability, which means this upgrade will apply to the next creature I cast. Wow, it's this 2 3 attack, double all nightmares you control. You attach this turn. Alright, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna cast the Raging Goblin. It gets a buff, and I get a spell. So, number one, one mana pick teams, draft a creature card into your hand, and this goes to your opponent's hand, raise its cost by one. Alright, so I'm gonna attack. I'm not going to cast pick teams because I don't really want the opponent to have it. So maybe I will just upgrade with Vivian's ability. Plus 3 plus 0. Show them your team. Uh. Opponent's attacking. I will block. Run! It's too late. Track fear. What's that? Draw a card. Draw a copy of a card from my deck and add it to his hand. All right. So we don't know what he gets. Could be a high spell, high cost spell. Um, I'm just gonna cast my lingering spirit. So we get another spell for one. Burn true. Deal one damage to enemy creature and it can't block this turn. So I'm going to attack. And I'm just going to leave up Giant Growth as a potential combat trick. Ooh, Glorian Tusker. Nice. That's from my deck, I think. Okay, the nightmare triggers. I lose one, he gains one. Okay, so I'm gonna cast um, that spell, deal one damage to it, and it can't block. And then I'm going to attack with two creatures. Alright, I'm going to activate. Vivian's ability plus zero plus three, and I'm just gonna cast the Elvish Archer. It's gonna be a very big blocker. 
And that's it for my turn. Okay, I get a 2 cost mend, a spell heal 5. So pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna block Tusker. Forest Patrol, summon two elves. Alright. Those are nice blockers. And anticipate, drop a card. Okay, my turn. Like my triggers. So, what can I do? I would like to cast a creature, so... But I could try to fight one of them and... But that will be all I can do. So not really what I want. So I just attack with two creatures. One is flying, the spirit, so it can't be blocked. And then... He blocks the two tree. And I'm gonna do an upgrade. Okay, Essence of Night, Sneak. So cast my Night Soul Dragon, which would give it Sneak for one turn. It's uh, also a flyer, so good thing for us. End the turn. Okay, we get this spell, Animal Gamate. Animal Gamate. Gives a friendly creature three random upgrades. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so he destroyed my guy with uh, Flagrant Foul. This card is so good. Can destroy any creature for 4 mana. Um, okay, he attacks. And he concedes as well. So, yeah. That was pretty good win. Quite smooth for our attack. I think because uh, this deck in particular has uh, some low costing creatures, so when we cast them early with Vivian's upgrade, then we also get to get a free spell, which uh, can be good. We manage to give that creature uh, can't block and makes and lets us hit in for more damage. If you have forgotten the strength of the wild, I will remain. Sweet. Alright, so we got one win so far in the event. That's nice. Uh, if we hit two losses, then we're out. So hopefully we don't lose so quickly. 100 gold. Vivian versus Nissa. Okay, Nissa is our opponent's spell slinger. I can't remember what she does actually. Hmm, got a nice starting hand, a lot of uh, cheap creatures, 2 1 mana cost, 2 cost and 3 cost. So let's keep this. I am not afraid to fight. I heard the stadium needs wrecking. So Nissa's ability after she gets a mana gem that's not from the land heal itself for 1. Okay, so she's a healer basically. And she likes to generate mana gems. Gets plus one, plus one if you have a creature in hand with power five or greater. Wow. One mana, tree, tree. <laughs> that is crazy. Let's do an upgrade. See what we get. Plus zero, plus three. Okay. This might be great for the elite vanguard. Become a tree four. We got Nuzzle, which is a spell that can fully heal a friendly creature. Not bad. Rampant Grove gets an empty gem spell. Okay, he didn't attack, so I will attack. And I'm gonna do an upgrade and see what happens. Plus two plus one, alright. Just nice for the Glade Cover Scout. And we get a tragic trip. Give an enemy minus one minus one. Alright. Wow, Centaur Archer, that is a big boy. So currently none of my spells would really 
help us against the centaur. I could cast the ooze, but I think I would just do an upgrade and then show them your team. Cast my beast bonder. For the wild. Adapt and survive. Tooth and claw. So he gets a buff, plus one plus zero, and I got hasten to mana. I am not going to attack. Currently need some flyers actually. Wow, dry horn. Six six. I don't think I will block that yet. So I'll just block the centaur. I don't die. And I'll just pass. Okay, we've got a stack that can help to get rid of the centaur. Alright, which I think I'll do. I'll just fight the centaur and it'll still live. And I have a creature of sneak, so I'll attack. Tear them apart. Okay, ground assault should be good to get rid of one of the bigger boys because it the damage is equal to the number of mana gems. So maybe next turn. Rampant growth. Tragic slip. Okay. Ooh, trample. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna swing in with both guys. Okay, so he blocked with my he blocked my soldier, which is expected, and I'm gonna give the tragic slip to the to kill off the one damage. I'm gonna do an upgrade and Beach. show them your team. I'm gonna cast my ooze. Maybe this is a good time. And that's it for my turn. So I got flame coil. Nice. D4 damage to an enemy creature. Wow, what is that? Before the sisters fight, transform the creature you're fighting into a statue. Alright, I'm not gonna block because he has trample, so don't wanna be taking tree damage as well. Okay, I'm gonna do four damage to the guy. Alright, let's attack and see what happens. Do an upgrade and cast my Colonian Tusker. Alright, let's just do Colonian Tusker. Two mana retaliate. Do four damage to an enemy creature that attacked last turn. Hey, this might be good. Stun up to two creatures. Wow. Wow. Um, I have to block that and still take 8 down a tree. So we definitely have to get rid of the sisters by using ground assault. And that means we have only 3 mana left. Ground assault kills it. 
I want to do grudge match actually. Be safe than sorry. Get rid of it before you can cast any tricks. And I'm just gonna fully heal my creature. Return all creatures to hand. Alright. I guess that works. And there is the Elvish Archer. Hmm. So I feel I need to gain some life, and Blood Lord is the only way I can do that. So let's do an upgrade. Trample. I thank you for your donation. Okay, we get eject. And now we can cast a blocker, which I think I will just do Colonian Tusker. Lisa's already got eleven mana, which is quite crazy. I only have eight. Or nine the next turn, so nine against eleven. Primeval Titan. Crazy. Ooh, we got Ilhark. But Ilhark's not even big enough against um, Primeval Titan. So we definitely have to use Eject on the Titan. And what else can we do? We have 4 mana left. Alright, first thing is Eject. Okay, and then I'm going to cast a stack and fight with um, this guy. You gain life, but uh, at least we get rid of a blocker. And let's just swing. I warned you. I and that's it. Day of judgment. All right. Yes. The trees have chosen their champion. What is that? It's a plus one, plus one for each Dramana gem. Okay. I'm gonna need some blockers, so I think I'll just attack without casting the bow. And then... Oh, I can't do an upgrade anymore, okay. So I'll just cast the Elvish Archer. And the Scout. Yeah, I don't get any more free spells because of uh, it's only once per turn. Ejected! Oh boy. Wow, what is that? Had a copy of four random cards and opponent's graveyard to your hand. <laughs> Lots of statues. Okay. So I think I really need to Day of Judgment now. I have very few creatures left. Okay, what I can do is cast two creatures and Arc Bow. And hopefully we get some good stuff. is not an option. Haste, okay. Run! <laughs> Shell Crabs, a defender, can attack. Good thing it's not flying, but uh, it's got lots of mana. 15 left. Hmm. 
Ooh, what is that? Sign of Ashaya. Wow, that is big. Okay, so I'm gonna cast my Night Soul Dragon. None can escape me. I'm gonna give it haste. And then I'm going to pump. Ooh, nothing. Um I'm just gonna give three random upgrades. Alright, that should do it. Plus three plus zero. Nice. Sweet! That was a very tough game. If you have forgotten the strength of the wild, I will remember. Okay, got our two wins. And 150 gold again. Alright, so I think that's it for us today. Let's just go and collect some rewards from the challenges. So I think these are the daily rewards. Only once per day. Uh, you complete a game, you get 250 gold. Not bad. And these are the challenges that refresh when you complete them then there are empty slots the new ones will come in so i think if you don't complete them uh new ones won't be added so they're kind of encouraging you to play more and complete those quests but some of them are pretty hard actually um like playful wizard cards i don't think i have that many wizards because i haven't been playing blue so if you have lots of uh, the spell slingers to choose from then and you rotate between them then fulfilling these challenges should be easier but for now I think starting off with only one or two spell slingers is going to be hard being focused on a single color all right yeah so that's it for today's event in spell slingers uh, event is called spell slingers as well so pretty good if you can get four wins and it's okay if you lose because it's a free entry so just take it as a fun way to learn and get better, play against the different spell slingers. And if you want to watch more, also do subscribe to the channel, it helps us a lot. Uh, leave a comment and let us know what spell slingers you are playing. Or if you want to check out our website at tapandsang.com, you can also find uh, articles on other magic stuff. So if you play paper or you play on arena, uh, we do have other strategy articles there. Alright, so that's it for this week. It's going to be the weekend tomorrow, so go out and have fun. I'm going to be playing Commander with some friends. So take care, tapping out. Till next time, goodbye.